Solubility of a solid is described as the ability of a solid to form a homogeneous solution with a solvent. Often we hear the phrase, like dissolves like, when talking about solubility. What exactly does this mean? In this vial, we have a solid polar compound. Let's see what happens when we add a nonpolar liquid, like hexanes. It does not form a homogeneous solution. Therefore, we can say it is not soluble. To figure out why the solid polar compound is not soluble in hexanes, let's take a look at the molecular level. Here, the solid polar compound is represented with dancers in white. Now we add a nonpolar solvent. You can see that they do not interact with each other. The solid and liquid do not have similar chemical structures or dancing styles. Again, here's the solid polar compound. Instead of adding nonpolar hexanes, we will add water, a polar solvent. In this case, it dissolves and forms a homogeneous solution. Therefore, we can say, the polar solid compound is soluble in water. Let's take a look at the molecular level to understand the solubility. Our solid polar compound is still represented with dancers in white. Now we add a polar solvent. This time the solvent can interact with the solid compound. The blue solvent molecules are making a solvation shell around the solid. Because they are both polar, we can say that they have similar chemical structures or dancing styles. Here's where the term like dissolves like comes from. This means that a solid will dissolve best in a solvent that has a similar chemical structure as itself. Now let's talk about another idea of solubility called saturation. Saturation of a solid occurs when the addition of more solid does not increase the concentration or amount of solid in the solution. Earlier we saw that the solid polar compound was soluble in water. Let's take a look at this again. Solubility occurs under dynamic equilibrium. As you can see here, the dancers in white are dealing with the simultaneous and opposing process of dissolution, interacting with the dancers in blue, and precipitation, gathering back together with each other. If we were to add more solid, now there aren't enough blue molecules to interact with all the white solid molecules. This is considered a saturated solution. The addition of more white dancers would not increase the amount of white dancers interacting with the blue dancers at a given time. The last thing we should discuss is how temperature affects solubility. Here we have a saturated solution at room temperature. No more solid will dissolve in the liquid at this temperature. What happens when we heat up the solution on this hot plate while stirring with a stir bar? Typically, an increase in temperature of the solvent results in an increase in solubility. Here, the solid dissolves. To figure out why, let's take a look at the molecular level. As we increase the temperature of a solvent, the blue liquid molecules have more energy and are moving around faster. Because they are moving around faster, the liquid molecules are better at keeping the white solid molecules dissolved. Here's a quick recap. Like dissolves like. Saturation occurs when no more solid can go into solution. Usually an increase in temperature equals an increase in solubility.